Shalom Kodoshim. In this prayer, we are putting in petitions for a spouse, a set-apart spouse, Kodesh. Matthew chapter 7, verse 6 through 11. Do not give what is Kodesh to the dogs, nor throw your pearls before the pigs, lest they trample them under their feet and turn into you in pieces. Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it shall be opened. Or is there a man among you who, if his son asks for bread, shall give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, shall they give him a snake? If you then, being wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your father who is in the Shamayim give what is good to those who ask him? Hallelujah. This is a special prayer. We are asking the Father to bring us a spouse, a partner, someone that we intend to spend the rest of our lives with. In today's world, there's so much divorce. There's many broken homes where we find there is either single moms or single dads, and there's no marriages. Or even worse, we find that people are shacked up, not even married and living together, and living in sin. Tehillim, Psalms 127, verse 1, it is written, If Yahuwah does not build the house, its builders have labored in vain. If Yahuwah does not guard the city, the watchmen that stayed awake in vain. Many relationships and marriages are built on man's wisdom and man's understanding. This is a large part of the reason why many marriages fail. In this prayer, we are requesting the Father that he will bring us somebody who loves him just as much as we do. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 through 18, it is written, Do not become unevenly yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership have righteousness and lawlessness? And what fellowship has light with darkness? And what agreement has Mashiach with Belial? What part does a believer have with an unbeliever? And what union has the temple of Elohim with idols? For you are a temple of the living Elohim, as Yahuwah has said. I shall dwell in them and walk among them, and I shall be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says Yahuwah, and do not touch what is unclean, and I shall receive you, and I shall be a father to you, and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says Yahuwah all should die. When we're choosing our spouse, we want to make sure that we are in agreement. How can two walk together unless they be agreed? And our agreement should be based on what the scriptures say. We have to recognize that marriage was established by Yahuwah himself. Yahuwah created man and he created woman. And he designed us to join together in marriage. And he hates when we put away. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 and 28. It is written. And Elohim created the man in his image. In the image of Elohim he created him. Male and female he created them. And Elohim brought them. And Elohim said to them, Bear fruit and increase, and fill the earth and subdue it, and rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the Shamayim, and over all creatures moving on the earth. Let's jump down to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And Yahuwah Elohim formed a man out of dust from the ground, and breathed into his nostrils breath of life, and the man became a living being. Hallelujah. Now let's jump down to verse 15. It is written. And Yahuwah Elohim took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and to guard it. And Yahuwah Elohim commanded the man, saying, Eat of every tree of the garden, but do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall certainly die. And Yahuwah Elohim said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I am going to make a helper for him as his counterpart. And from the ground Yahuwah Elohim formed every beast of the field, and every bird of the Shamayim, and brought them to the man, to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was his name. So we see here, Yahuwah created man, and he gave him a job. Adam was working, and Yahuwah decided it was time to give him someone to help him do his job. Genesis chapter 2, verse 20 through 24. So the man gave names to all livestock, and to the birds of the Shamayim, and to every beast of the field. But for the man there was not found a helper for him, as his counterparts. So Yahuwah Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall on the man, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in his place. And the rib which Yahuwah Elohim had taken from the man, he made into a woman. And he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one is called woman, because she was taken out of man. 
For this cause, a man shall leave his father and mother and join unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Hallelujah. This is what Yahuwah always intended, for a man to join to his wife and become one flesh. Mark chapter 10 verse 9. Therefore, what Yahuwah has joined together, let no one separate. Many relationships and marriages are failing based on the fact that the order is not in place. The man was working. Yahuwah brought him a wife. He left his father and his mother, and then he joined unto his wife and became one flesh. Nowadays, we see a lot of the times the women are doing all the work. They have the degrees. They're working hard, but the men are just playing the side role. Any marriage that's based on this is doomed for failure. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 through 12 Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one lifts his companion up. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they keep warm. But how does one keep warm alone? Although one might be overpowered, two withstand him, and a three-four cord is not readily broken. Marriage is a partnership. We should both be working together as a team for a good reward. The husband and the wife should both know their roles in the relationship. Where there is no order, there is chaos and confusion. And we know that Yahuwah is not the author of confusion, but of peace in the congregation of the Kodoshim. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 through 33, it is written, Husbands, love your wives, as Mashiach also loved the assembly and gave himself for it, in order to kadosh it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, in order to present it to himself a splendid assembly, not having spot or wrinkle or any of this sort, but that it might be Kodesh and blameless. In this way, husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hated his own flesh, but feeds and cherishes it, as also Adonai does the assembly. Because we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones, for this cause a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This secret is great, but I speak concerning Mashiach and the assembly. However, you too, everyone, let each one love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she reveres her husband. Hallelujah. So let us pray, and let us come into agreement. We're going to come before the Father, and let's remind him that marriage comes from him. Our Father, in the Shamayim, O Yahuwah, we thank you for the institution of marriage. We acknowledge that marriage is your making, and not that of man. O Yahuwah, as we seek for your guidance and direction for a life partner, we are convinced that you will make a way for us. We know that you will guide us. So, Yahuwah, we thank you in advance, in the name of Yahushua. It is written in Proverbs 16, verse 9, a man's heart plans his way, but Yahuwah establishes his steps. Thank you, Yahuwah, because we know that you will direct our paths in marriage. We will not miss our way in Yahushua's name. Today, we decree and declare before the Shamayim and the earth that Yahuwah made marriage for good, not for bad. Marriage is not our idea. It is not the idea of any man or woman. Yahuwah himself instituted marriage to entrench his purpose on the earth. This we touch and agree and we state from the bottom of our hearts, and we will never forget to remember this in the name of Yahushua. Mishle, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 25. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. Yahuwah, we declare our submission to your plans for marriage through the Ruach HaKodesh. Father, teach us how to make ourselves ready and attract the person that you have for our lives in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that our marriages will be a Baraka in the name of Yahushua. Kepha Rishon, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6-7 Humble yourselves, then, under the mighty hand of Elohim, so that he exalts you in due time, casting all your worry upon him, for he is concerned about you. O Yahuwah, according to this word, we humble ourselves before you, and cast all our anxieties about marriage to you. We know that you care for us, and you are at work in our lives right now. And your plans for our marriages will come to pass in the name of Yahushua. Tehillim, Psalms 94 verse 19. When anxiety was great within me, your comforts delighted my soul. Yahuwah, when doubt fills our minds, when our hearts are in turmoil, 
when we begin to be anxious about marriage. O oh, Yahuwah, quiet us and give us renewed hope and joyfulness, that your shalom, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Mashiach, Yahushua. Yahuwah, clothe us with confidence, with humility, with imuna, and supernatural joy that recognizes that you are always in control in the mighty name of Yahushua. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 and 17, it is written, Therefore we do not lose hearts, but even if our outward man is perishing, yet that within is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is working for us a far more exceeding and everlasting weight of esteem. We decree and declare, according to this scripture, that whatever problem in our lives right now is just a light momentary affliction that is preparing us for an eternal weight of esteem beyond all comparison, in the name of Yahushua. Tehillim, Psalms chapter 37, verse 3 through 7. Trust in Yahuwah and do good. Dwell in the earth and feed on steadfastness and delight yourself in Yahuwah and let him give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to Yahuwah and trust in him and he does it. And he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your right rule in his midday. Rest in Yahuwah and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way because of the man doing wicked devices. According to this word, we decree and declare that from now onwards, we will delight ourselves in Yahuwah and let him give us the desires of our hearts. From now onwards, we will rest in him and in his precious promises, and he will never leave us nor forsake us. He will not let us be down or allow us to be brokenhearted. We command the demons of worry and anxiety to leave our lives and never return here again in Yahushua's name. We claim complete restoration in our health, our finances, and our families. We claim restoration in every aspect of our lives, and we claim the manifestation of our marriages in the mighty name of Yahushua. Oh, Yahuwah, we may have heard and read a lot of negative stories going around this world in marriages and homes, but today, Yahuwah, we believe and we declare that this is not your will. We know that you, Yahuwah, ordained marriage to be a foundation for fulfilling your purpose on earth, and not the negative stories that are going around. Today, we surrender to you our marriage ideas, our thoughts, and desires, and we pray that you, Yahuwah, will align them to your perfect will in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. It is written in James chapter 1, verse 17, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no change nor shadow of turning. According to this word, we therefore decree and declare that Yahuwah will bring our spouse a perfect gift from him to us from above in the name of Yahushua. Hallelujah. So be it. So now, as we're waiting for the manifestation of our spouse, I want us to come into agreement and pray and ask the Father to help us get rid of anything inside of us that's blocking us from receiving the promise. Let us pray and let us ask Yahuwah to help us let go of any fear and negativity. I also want us to pray for us to let go of impatience and any unrealistic expectations. So first, let us deal with this fear. Proverbs 23, 7, it is written, As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. It is written in the old, Job chapter 3, verse 25, For that which I greatly feared has come upon me, and that which I dreaded has overtaken me. Some of us may have fear of rejection. Some of us may have fears that we may never be married. There may be many stories floating around out there where we hear people getting divorces and having many issues in their families and their marriages, but we decree and declare that is not going to be our portion. So now, let us pray and let us come against any internal fear or negativity that will hinder us from being married. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34, it is written, Because of this I say to you, do not worry about your life, which you shall eat or drink, or about your body, what you shall put on. Is not life more than the food, and the body more than the clothing? Look at the birds of the Shamayim, for they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into storehouses. Yet your father of the Shamayim feeds them. Are you not worth more than they? And which of you by worrying is able to add one package to his lifespan? So why do you worry about clothing? No will the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. And I say to you that even Shaloma and all his esteem was not dressed like one of these. But if Elohim so clothes the grass of the field, which exists today, and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, how much more you owe you of little belief? 
Do not worry then, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For all these the Gentiles seek for. And your father of the Shamayim knows that you need all these. But seek first the kingdom of Elohim and his righteousness, and all these shall be added to you. Do not then worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow shall have his own worries. Each day has enough evil of itself. Yahuwah, our Father in the Shamayim, in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we refuse to worry about food and drink, clothes, and marriage from this day forward. And we give you praise for the gift of life and health. Hallelujah. As long as we have life, health, and continue to follow you, we know you will always provide for us and that we will connect with our spouse. Hallelujah. Father, forgive us wherever we have allowed fear and negativity to becloud our spirit regarding marriage. Today, Yahuwah, we decree and declare that our marriages will be different. It will not be among the negative stories that we hear. We decree and declare that we rest in your promises to take care of us. We know that our tomorrow is secure in you, and we know that you will barack our marriages in the mighty name of Yahushua, we pray. So be it. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8, it is written, And it is Yahuwah who is going before you. He himself is with you. He does not fail you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be discouraged. Yes, Yahu, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1 and 2. But now, thus says Yahuwah, your creator, O Yaakov, and he who formed you, O Yasharel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I am with you. And through rivers, they do not overflow you. When you walk through fire, you are not scorched, and a flame does not burn you. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 to 13. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not look around, for I am your Elohim. I shall strengthen you. I shall also help you. I shall also uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. See, all those who rage against you are ashamed and blush. They are as not, and the men who strive with you perish. You seek them, but do not find them. Those who struggle with you, those who fight you are as nothing, as less than not. For I, Yahuwah your Elohim, will strengthen your right hand, saying to you, Do not fear, I shall help you. 2 Timothy Chapter 1 verse 7 For Elohim has not given us a ruach of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. Mishle, Proverbs 29 verse 25 The fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in Yahuwah shall be safe. Romans chapter 8 verse 15 For you did not receive the spirit of bondage against the fear, but you received the spirit of adoption. But when we cry out, Abba, Father, Abba Yah, we thank you for giving us the Ruach of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Thank you for giving us freedom in Mashiach and delivering us from the bondage of fear, panic, anxiety, and paranoia. Yahuwah, we know that you are at work in our lives every day. We know that you will go before us in all our ways, making every crooked path straight. You will be with us. You will not leave us nor forsake us. So we therefore decree and declare that today that we will not be afraid of anything. We will not be afraid of not being married or failing in marriage in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Today, we decree and declare our victory over disappointments, heartbreak, depression, rejection. We bind and rebuke the spirit of fear in marriage, failure, and panic in our lives, and we cast them out in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke the spirit of fear of rejection, and we command you to come out of our lives now in the name of Yahushua. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the Father, O Yahuwah. Deliver us from every trap that we have entered due to fear and panic in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that we put our trust in Yahuwah. Therefore, we shall be safe and protected from all forms of trouble and danger. Our marriage will happen, and the esteem will be to Yahuwah and to Yahuwah alone in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. So be it. So now, let us pray so that we can get rid of any impatience and unrealistic expectations in marriage. Sometimes we can be over eager and sometimes we might lose patience while we wait on the manifestation of our marriage. Yes, Yahoo, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. But they that wait upon Yahuwah shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. We may also have unrealistic expectations. This could be setting us up for failure and be a hindrance to our marital breakthrough. So let us pray. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 it is written worry for nothing 
but in all by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to Yahuwah, and the shalom of Yahuwah, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your hearts and minds through Mashiach Yahushua. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Elohim, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, Kodesh, acceptable to Elohim, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Elohim. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 and 5. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 through 39, it is written, Do not then lose your boldness, which has a great reward, for you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of Elohim, you receive the promise. For yet a little while, he who is coming shall come and shall not delay, but the righteous shall live by belief. But if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. For we are not of those who draw back to destruction, but of belief to the preservation of life. Hallelujah. So we pray today, O Yahuwah, by your power, by your understanding, prevent us from attaching ourselves to anyone out of desperation and out of loneliness. Help us not to settle for a relationship that is second best, convenience, or one that feeds our insecurities. In the name of Yahushua, Yahuwah, by fire, bring to an end every relationship in our lives that is a trap, that is toxic, and that will cause us to waste our time from connecting to our spouse the one you have for us, in the name of Yahushua. It is written in James chapter 1 verse 5, If any lacks wisdom, let him ask of Elohim, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Yahuwah, we now ask for your wisdom and strength to let go of any luggage of our past relationships, to let it go completely, and prepare for the spouse you have chosen for us, in the name of Yahushua. O Yahuwah, help us to let go of unrealistic expectations that will set us up for disappointment. Inspire us to accept the conditions that matter to you in marriage, in Yahushua's name. Every plant that our father in the Shamayim has not planted shall be uprooted. O oh, Yahuwah, uproot all forms of false fantasies from our minds, from our entire nefesh, and empower our thoughts to be humble and trust in your provision for our lives, in the name of Yahushua. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3-6 through six, is written, But though we walk in the flesh, we do not fight according to the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Elohim to the overthrowing of strongholds, overthrowing reasonings, and every high matter that exalts itself against the knowledge of Elohim, taking captive every thought to make it obedient to Hamashiach, and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is complete. Today, we speak to the strongholds of evil fantasies, insecurity, evil lusting, selfishness, codependency, and emotionalism designed to yoke our lives and bring an evil entanglement. We command them to be broken, shattered to pieces, and we command them to be overthrown right now in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Yahuwah, we surrender our expectation about a marriage partner to you. Yahuwah, redefine our desires with your thoughts and help us to be comfortable with your plans for our lives in the name of Yahushua. Oh Yahuwah, by your Ruach HaKodesh, we pray that you will immerse us with calmness, empower us with patience, take away any form of haste toward marriage from us. He who hastens with his feet sins. Father, cause us to be joyful while waiting for your will and revelation of our spouse in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare from this day onwards that we refuse to be upset on account of a life partner. We refuse to be envious and jealous when others get married or when they are in relationships because we know that we all had different destinies and we had different gifts. Yahuwah, we pray, give us the ability to love with your inspired love, to tolerate and to exercise ourselves in forgiveness every time and to humble ourselves while waiting on you. Cause us to have your kind of joy, your shalom, as we continue to be kind to others as we wait for the manifestation of our spouse. In the name of Yahushua, we pray. So be it. Hallelujah, Hu. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. So now, we're going to deal with anything that's in our bloodline, anything in our generation that will hinder us from being married. If we're coming from homes and families where we notice that there's no one that's married or we see that they're constantly divorced, 
we may notice that there's also adultery always happening or where poverty is always a threat in the family. We need to pray and come into agreement so that we can renounce and denounce the evil covenants, the curses, and any harmful influences that these things have left on us and our families. We're also going to pray against any spiritual limitations, any barriers that have been set up by the devil to try to keep us from being married. For it is written in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, Because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against authorities, against the world rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in the Shamayim. Before we come against these spiritual limitations, these barriers, curses, and covenants, let us first ask for forgiveness. It is always important to ask for forgiveness before engaging the enemy in warfare. Otherwise, there may be open doors and breaches that the enemy will use against us to attack us. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 8 He that digs a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaks a hedge, a serpent shall bite him. So, let us pray and come into agreement and ask the Father for forgiveness. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20 through 23 it is written, The soul who sins shall die. The son shall not bear the wickedness of the father, nor the father bear the wickedness of the son. The righteousness of the righteous is upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked is upon himself. But the wicked, if he turn from all his sins which he has done, and he shall guard all my laws, and shall do right ruling and righteousness, he shall certainly live, he shall not die. All the transgressions which he has done shall not be remembered against him. In his righteousness that he has done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked? Declares the ad in Yahuwah. Is it not that he should turn from his ways and live? Galatians 3.13 and 14 it is written, But Shiach redeemed us from the curse of the Torah, and become a curse for us, for it has been written, Curse is everyone who hangs upon a tree in order that the Barakah of Abraham might come upon the nations in Mashiach Yahusha to receive the promise of the Ruach through belief. Yehukanah Rishon, 1 John chapter 1, verse 5 through 10, it is written, And this is the message which we have heard from him, and announced to you, that Elohim is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie and are not doing the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we are misleading ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is trustworthy and righteous to forgive us the sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sins, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 Therefore, let us come boldly to the throne of favor in order to receive compassion and find favor for timely help. Hallelujah. Yahuwah, our Father in the Shamayim, we ask for your mercy and compassion as we take steps towards our marriages. May we not be a victim of our family errors, sins, destructions, our weaknesses, in the name of Yahushua by the power of his blood. Father, we stand in the gap for our family lines today and ask for forgiveness from all forms of evil covenants, curses, and sins that have brought different spiritual limitations on us and the family members. Yahuwah, let your mercy, let your compassion prevail over our family lines today in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Yahuwah, we know that sins, our transgressions, our iniquities have opened doors, gates, windows for these demons to operate. But now, Yahuwah, by the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, we receive forgiveness for our families. We close all the open doors, the windows, the gates, through which demons have had access to operate against us and our families in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Today, O Yahuwah, we plead the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach over our lives and our family lineages in the name of Yahushua. Thank you, Yahuwah, for answering our prayers. Thank you, Yahushua, for setting us free. Thank you, Father, for all you're doing in our lives. Thank you for bringing us our future spouse. So now, let us come into agreement and let's get ready to engage the enemy in spiritual warfare. Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 through 20 Truly I say to you whatever you bind on earth shall be having been bound in the Shamayim and whatever you loosen on earth shall be having been loosened in the Shamayim Again I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning any matter that they ask it shall be done for them by my father in the Shamayim for where two or three are gathered together in my name there am I in the midst of them Luke chapter 10 verse 19 
Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. James chapter 4 verse 7 Therefore, submit to Yahuwah, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Romans chapter 8 verse 31 What then shall we say to these things? If Elohim is for us, who can be against us? Yehukanah Rashan 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 you are of Yahuwah, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Hallelujah. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13 through 17. It is written, And all your children taught by Yahuwah, and the shalom of your children great. In righteousness you shall be established, far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from ruin, for it does not come near you. See, it shall indeed assemble, but not because of me. Whoever shall assemble against you falls for your sake. See, I myself have created the blacksmith, who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall prove wicked. This is the inheritance of the servants of Yahuwah, and the righteousness from me, declares Yahuwah. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahuwah and in the power of his might. Put on the complete armor of Elohim that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. We gird our loins with the belt of truth. We got the chest plate of righteousness in place. Our shoes are shotted with the preparation of the good news of Shalom. Above all, taking the shield of belief where we shall have power to quench every fiery dart of the wicked one. And we take the helmet of deliverance and the sword of the Ruach, which is the word of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 through 11, it is written, Wherefore Yahuwah also has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahushua every knee shall bow, of things in the Shamayim, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahuwah is Yahushua HaMashiach to the esteem of Yahuwah the Father. Hallelujah. All right, now that we laid our foundation in this victory, let us engage the enemy. I decree and declare that by this prayer, those who have been patiently waiting for the manifestation of their spouse, they will receive their miracle to break through. We will enter into our season of joy and fruitfulness and shalom in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach of Nazareth. Let's go. Matthew chapter 3 verses 10 through 12 it is written and the axe is already laid to the root of the trees every tree then which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire I indeed immerse you in water unto repentance but he who is coming after me is mightier than I whose sandals I'm not worthy to bear he shall immerse you in the Ruach HaKodesh in fire his winnowing fork is in his hand and he shall thoroughly cleanse his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the storehouse, but the chaff he shall burn with unquenchable fire. O oh, Yahuwah, immerse us in the Ruach HaKodesh in fire and deliverance from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Father, gather the wheat into the storehouse and burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire in Yahushua's name. Zion, Revelation chapter 12, verse 10 and 11. And I heard a loud voice saying in the Shamayim, now have come the deliverance and the power and the reign of our Elohim and the authority of his Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before our Elohim day and night, has been thrown down. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives unto the death. Matthew chapter 12 verse 28 and 29. But if I cast out devils by the Ruach of Elohim, then the kingdom of Elohim has come upon you. Or how is one able to enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds a strong man and then he shall plunder his house? Luke chapter 11 verse 21 and 22 When a strong man having been well armed watches over his own courts, his possessions are in peace. But when a strong indeed he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils. 
We bind, rebuke, and we disable any demons operating against our families due to past parental sins and errors. We command these devils to leave today and go back into the abyss. Don't ever return in the name of Yahushua. We command all spiritual strongholds and negative temperaments inherited from our family lines be destroyed by fire today. We divorce ourselves in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Demons of confusion, delay, poverty, fear, affliction, marital crisis, setbacks, adultery, boredom in our family lines working against us. We bind you. We rebuke you. We cast you all into the abyss. Don't ever return in the name of Yahushua. Today, we put an end to every grip of the enemy in our lives and families. We command every wicked strong man and strong woman, enforcing evil agreements, covenants, and decisions from our past generations in our lives and families to receive fire, hailstones, and concentrated acid and pack out of our families. Get out with all your loads now in the name of Yahushua. By the power in the blood of Yahushua, we break every yoke of delay, disappointment, setbacks in our marriages. We decree and declare total healing and restoration from every affliction in our lives and families, coming from our family lines, in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Every generational curse and covenants, agreement, initiation, dedication that will stand against our marriages, we renounce you. We denounce you, we reject you, we command you to be broken in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Every vow, promise, or oath designed to fight and obstruct our marriages, we renounce you, we denounce you, we reject you all this moment in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. We bind and rebuke, we paralyze every spirit of polygamy, divorce, immorality, adultery, whoredom, pornography, masturbation rape, molestation, bestiality, sodomy. We cast these spirits out of our families and our ancestors and out of our lives right now. We command them to go into the abyss do not return in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that these sins will not manifest in our lives and families anymore in the name of Yahushua. Oh Yahuwah, we pray release our spouses from any witchcraft covenants and satanic bondages right now. We command our spouses to be set free from generational curses and covenants that are blinded and hindering them from locating and connecting with us in the name of Yahushua. Today, we decree and declare that because we are in Mashiach, we are new creatures. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We are no longer under generational curses, for we are now under a renewed covenant established with the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. We are redeemed from all curses. We are walking in the Baraka of Elohim every day. We reject family foundational carryovers in our lives from now on in the name of Yahushua. So be it. Yahuwah, in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we thank you for giving us the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and not to shall by any means hurt us. We thank you, Yahushua, for giving us the keys to the kingdom, and that whatever we bind here on earth is bound in the Shamayim. Whatever we loose here on earth is loosened in the Shamayim. Today, O Yahuwah, we take our stand in Mashiach and we put on the complete armor of Elohim. We arise this day and we begin to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy against our lives and our marriages. Today, we decree and declare judgment over all principalities and authorities, the rulers of the darkness of this age, and the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the Shamayim. In the name of Yahushua, we arrest and sentence every malicious activity against our marriages and our homes into the abyss now in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare and loose a divine wind to trace any evil means that have taken place against us and our marriages and our families, our futures, our destinies, our ministries, and our workplaces and scatter them into desolation in the name of Yahushua. Because Yahuwah is with us, nothing or anyone is able to withstand us. We command every obstacle and hindrance to our marriages be removed today and forever by fire in the name of Yahushua. Today, in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we bind and rebuke every demonic watcher and monitoring spirit, familiar spirit, and masquerading spirits assigned to manipulate and control our marriages in the name of Yahushua. We loose the messengers of Yahuwah to pursue them, arrest them in the name of Yahushua. We cancel every near miracle situation. We decree and declare that our marriages will work out beyond human expectations in the name of Yahushua. By the power and the blood of Yahushua, we break the yoke of failure and premature death in marriage in the name of Yahushua. 
we cancel every spiritually programmed disaster against our marriages in the name of Yahushua. Every evil arrow shot against our lives and marriages, we command to be destroyed by fire today in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that there will be no misfortune in our marriages and our homes in the name of Yahushua. Yo, Job chapter 22 verse 28 it is written, You shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established to you, and the light shall shine upon your ways. We decree and declare in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach that our ordained spouse from Yahuwah himself will manifest in our lives. We will be connected and our hearts will know it in the name of Yahushua. We will be married and it will be highly esteemed and our marriage will command favors and Baraka from Yahuwah. He so finds a wife finds a good thing and will obtain favor from Yahuwah. Our marriages will open new doors and gateways of prosperity and favors for us and everyone connected to us. Our marriages will not inherit evil from either side of our families in the name of Yahushua. The businesses, jobs, the ministries will not downsize after their marriage will continue to grow and multiply in the name of Yahushua. Our marriages will be a success story and a huge testimony. Our in-laws will be a baraka to us and we will be a baraka to them. Money will be provided for our marriages and we decree and declare that the process of our marriages will be safe, peaceful, filled with joy and laughter in the name of Yahushua. Galatians 6.17 it is written, from now on, let no one trouble me, for I bear in my body the scars of the ad in Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua, may the mark of rejection, hatred, jealousy, and envy be permanently erased from our lives in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce and we reject every garment placed upon us by the kingdom of darkness. May the garments of delay, shame, ridicule, and confusion be removed from us, our marriages, and our destinies in the name of Yahushua. O Yahuwah. Clothe us with garments of deliverance. Cover us with robes of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with his ornaments, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels, in the name of Yahushua. May all of our disappointments be converted into divine appointments, in the name of Yahushua. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Search from the book of Yahuwah and read, Not one of these shall be missing. Not one shall be without a mate. For he has commanded my mouth, and his ruach shall gather them. O Yahuwah, recommend us to our spouses, and bring us together in the most miraculous way. Gather us by your ruach in the name of Yahushua. Today, we decree and declare that Yahuwah has taken over our battles. He is in charge of our marriage plans and preparations. Our marriages will happen, and the esteem will be to Yahuwah Elohim alone in the name of Yahushua. We come against every spiritual and physical attack against our marriages. We cancel every known or unknown covenant, agreement, initiation, dedication that speaking against our marital destinies. We command to be broken in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. We disconnect from every evil connection, spiritually, physically, mentally responsible for delays, rejections, disappointments in our marriages in the name of Yahushua. We arrest every thought from this day forward to work out for our favor in the name of Yahushua. O oh, Yahuwah, Father, we pray that your compassion will speak for us over our past. May our past mistakes and errors not stand against our marriages. Whatever mark has been cast on our lives and marriages due to our past mistakes, O oh, Yahuwah, we pray that the blood of Yahushua will remove them forever and speak on our behalf in Yahushua's name. We decree and declare that there shall henceforth be no more condemnation against us and our marital destinies. Yahuwah is doing a new thing in our lives. Old things are passed away. We are new in thoughts, better in waiting and obedience, wiser in decisions, and ready for the manifestation of our spouses in the name of Yahushua. So be it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahushua. So now, let us make some final declarations that is going to seal the deal for our marital breakthrough. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those that love it shall eat its fruit. We decree and declare that our potential spouses will not be victims of strange women and strange men in the name of Yahushua. We disconnect our future spouses from every evil, toxic relationship, currently keeping them from connecting with us in the name of Yahushua. We come against strange sickness, attacks, and premature death spiritually programmed against their lives in the name of Yahushua. O oh, Yahuwah, Father, we pray that there will be a great financial open door for our spouses to be. Cause them to start experiencing great open doors 
even as your power supernaturally brings them into our lives. In the name of Yahushua, Yahuwah, Father, we pray that your Ruach HaKodesh will make us the right person for our future spouses. Show us the things that we say or the things that we do that are wrong, things that hinder our marital breakthroughs. Father, uproot from us every negative mindset, idea, emotion, and attitude that would scare away our future spouses, physically and spiritually, in the name of Yahushua. Yahuwah, we pray, uproot from us every negative mindset, idea, emotion, and attitude that would scare us away from our spouses, physically and spiritually, in the name of Yahushua. Today, we put an end to all the consequences of bad words against our marriages. We decree and declare that Yahuwah is light and favor upon our lives, and we decree and declare that by supernatural intervention, we will attract and connect with our future spouses, in the name of Yahushua. It is written that we shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto us and the light will shine upon our ways according to Job chapter 22 verse 28. So therefore, we decree and declare before the Shamayim in the earth that love will find us. We will marry our ordained spouse from Yahuwah and we will raise an ideal home. We decree and declare that there shall be no more rejection, no more disappointment, and no more delays. For it is written in Hebrews 10 37, in a little while, he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Our marriages will no longer tarry. Our potential spouses and we all receive by divine intervention every provision that will bring our marriages to pass. We and our future spouses, we will be one flesh, united in purpose and inseparable, lifting each other up because two are better than one and receive a good reward for their labor. In the name of Yahushua. Mishle, Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22. Whoso finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor of Yahuwah. Tehillim, Psalms chapter 5 verse 12. For you brought the righteous, O Yahuwah. You surround him with favor as with a shield. O Yahuwah, surround us and our future spouses with your favor like a shield. Cause us to be at the right place at the right time as we prepare for our marriages. Father, show us everything that we need to do to be ready for our future marriages and give us the wisdom and understanding to do them in the name of Yahushua. Today, we decree and declare that we have favor with Elohim and man. We will find favor with everyone connected to our marriage realizations. We will find favor with kings and princes. We will find favor with our future spouses in the name of Yahushua. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that Yahuwah all should die will arise and have mercy upon us for the time to favor us has come. Yeah, this is our season of favor. We decree and declare that by Yahuwah's favor, we receive answers to every prayer we have made in the past, and we receive a supernatural harvest for every seed that we have sown in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that today that we will find favor with our future parents-in-laws and family members. As Yahuwah was with Yosef, he is with us. He has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Today, we bind, rebuke, and banish the spirit of hatred, cruel jealousy, and envy against us, and we cast them into the abyss. We lose love, and shalom, and compassion, and kindness, in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach. So, from today, we decree and declare that we are victorious. We are not victims. We are more than conquerors to him who loved us. We are going forward, from kavod to kavod, esteem to esteem. Yahuwah's favor is at work in our lives. We are not lazy. We are not idle and will never be idle. We are people of value. We make things happen. We receive the ability to do everything Yahuwah has called us to do. Whatever attitude the enemy has planted in us that is making us not to excel in favor, let it be uprooted by fire and cast into the sea in the name of Yahushua. From this moment forward, we decree and declare, favor will speak for us in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the midnight hour in all the days of our lives, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Every wrong person has been stationed in our lives, preventing the right people from showing up. May they be cut off and removed from our lives, in the name of Yahushua. From today, we begin to attract the right people into our lives, our destinies, our ministries, and our careers. We begin to attract the right connections and breakthroughs, in the name of Yahushua. O oh, Yahushua, purge and remove every form of destructive desperation, and patience and feelings of frustrations from us may it be removed from our lives by fire in the name of Yahushua. Henceforth, we will not fret up and down because of a marriage. We will unconditionally celebrate with others as they are getting married and not compare ourselves with them. 
O Yahuwah, as we wait for the manifestation of our spouses, Yahuwah, cause us to have your kind of joy and shalom, to focus on improving ourselves and our ministries, and continue to be kind to others and serve others. Yahuwah, help us to stick with your time and not rush into marriage out of pressure and out of loneliness in the name of Yahushua. When we see our future spouses, O oh, Yahuwah, cause us to have a great peace in our hearts and joy and give us the confirmation that we need that will make us confident that this is the path that you are leading us. May nothing hinder or stop us from recognizing and marrying the ordained spouse that Yahuwah has for us in the name of Yahushua. Yermayahu, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 4. Thus says Yahuwah Sebaot, the Lord him of Yahshuarel, to all the exiles whom I exiled from Jerusalem to Babylon, build houses and dwell, plant gardens and eat their fruit, take wives and bring forth sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, and let them bear sons and daughters, and be increased there and not diminished, and seek the peace of the city where I have exiled you, and pray to you who are for it, for in this peace you have peace. And let us jump down to verse 11 through 13. For I know the plans I'm planning for you, declares Yahuwah, plans of peace and not of evil, to give you an expectancy and a latter end. Then you shall call on me, and shall come and pray to me, and I shall listen to you. And you shall seek, and shall find me when you search for me with all your hearts. Thank you, Yahuwah, because you have a good plan for us, to give us shalom, hope, and a good marriage, and a good future. Thank you, Yahuwah, because you have someone for us. And we know we will connect with this person for your esteem. Hallelujah. Sometimes, Yahuwah, our heart may be troubled. And sometimes we might worry about our marriage and our future. But today, Yahuwah, we ask for your shalom that passes understanding that will rule our hearts. Help us to remain calm and at peace as we prepare ourselves for our future marriages in the name of Yahushua. Today, we remind ourselves that Yahuwah is working behind the scenes for the success of our marriages. All of our marriages will be a baraka in the mighty name of Yahushua. Yahuwah, Father, we pray, touch all of our hearts and help us to be forgiven and tolerant toward our future spouses. Yahuwah, teach us by your Ruach Kakudesh how to bridle our tongues and to not say hurtful things to the special somebody you will bring into our lives. Father, inspire our words to bring healing, deliverance, and imuna into our relationships in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach from the meeting of our future partners to the consummation of our future marriages and building of our homes. May you, Yahuwah, be the source and reason for our joy and success in the name of Yahushua. Hallelujah, Thank you, Yahuwah, for making provisions for our future marriages and our new families. Thank you for opening doors and gates of prosperity and removing lack from us and our future spouses. Thank you, Yahuwah, for our future marriages and our families, our Kodesh, we are set apart and we are sure inheritance in Mashiach Yahushua. Thank you for giving us power and authority over all devils. Thank you for delivering us from destruction. Thank you, Yahuwah, for delivering us from delay, disappointment, rejection. Thank you for not allowing us to be a victim of our enemy's wishes. Thank you for canceling the counsels of the wicked and improving our future marriages and our new homes. Thank you, Yahuwah, for fighting all our battles against our marital destinies. Thank you for the great things you are doing in our lives, in our marriages, and everything we're going through right now. Thank you, because we know that you are working our lives, and we know that our future marriages have been approved and stamped in the Shamayim. In Yahushua's mighty name we pray, so be it. Hallelujah. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 11 and 12. O oh, you afflicted one, tossed with storm and not comforted, behold, I will lay your stones with emeralds, and your foundation with sapphires. And I shall make your battlements of rubies, and your gates of crystal, and all your walls of precious stones. Yahuwah, according to this word, break down the faulty foundations, the walls, gates, windows, and borders, the roof of our lives, and rebuild it, restore it, repair it, fortify it, and barricade it in a new one, in Mashiach Yahushua. Make us an impenetrable fortress, in the name of Yahushua. Our Father in the Shamayim, O Yahuwah, Father, I pray that there be divine hedges of protection around us and all our future spouses. In the name of Yahushua. Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 2, verse 3. And see, the messenger who was speaking to me was going out, and another messenger was coming out to meet him. And he said to him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem is to remain unwalled 
because of the many men and livestock in it. For I, myself, am to her, declares Yahuwah, a wall of fire all around, and for esteem I am in her midst. O Yahuwah, Father, I pray that you will be a wall of fire round about us all and our future spouses, and be the cavode in the midst of it, around our households, around our transportations, around our workplaces and our ministries, and our assemblies, in the name of Yahushua. Acts chapter 2, verse 2 through 4, it is written, And suddenly there came a sound from the Shamayim, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and settled on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Ruach HaKodesh, and began to speak with other tongues as the Ruach gave them to speak. O Yahuwah, as a rushing mighty wind, Father, fill us up with your Ruach HaKodesh until the cup overflows. Fill up every gap, every crevice, every void that's been emptied out. Fill us with your presence, with your power, with your love, with your shalom, with your understanding. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach and Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah. Honor and esteem to Yahuwah all should die. And to the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. Praise Yahuwah. Listen to this prayer as many times as needed. I believe that there's going to be some big time testimonies from this. Keep fighting the good fights. Shalom.